Hello dear traders, welcome to ISE Markets. You are watching weekly market overview made by ISE Markets. Last week, the best dynamics among the major currencies showed the Australian dollar, having gained 1.4% against the US counterpart. The US dollar, however, has brought the low disposition and among the six major currencies, only the Japanese yen ended uh, the week with a deterioration, having lost 0.3%. The dollar index fell by 0.4%. The Australian dollar climbed last week to a 3-month high at 1.0581, despite weak employment data. The number of jobs in Australia dropped by 36,000 in March and the unemployment rate rose to 5.6%. The euro managed to reach 1.3137, but as we expected, it faced a strong resistance at that height, indicated by 61.8% Fibonacci extension level and by 100-day moving average. The British pound rally has currently posted just below 1.54, which is also 61.8% Fibo level. A break of the key storm term resistance levels could support growth of both currencies. It is largely contributed by the actions of the Bank of Japan, which help push down bond yields of fiscally sick euro area nations. However, in the medium term, we still expect both the euro and the pound to return to 1.2750 and 1.4800 respectively. The Japanese yen kept on dropping. The pair dollar yen rose to a four-year high at 99.93, but has so far failed to overcome resistance at 100 yen against the dollar and dropped to a 98.00, although in our view it is only a matter of time and the correction can become a good opportunity for new long positions. After the level of 100 in uh, done, we expect the pair to uh, test a 4.5 year high at 1.101.43. The minutes of the Fed's March meeting, published last Wednesday, has once um, again confirmed uh, the existence of disagreement between the participants of the meeting about the timing of quantitative easing cuts. The dollar is likely to remain sensitive to macro uh, statistics especially to employment and inflation. The better the data are, the greater the arguments of the opponents, uh, proponents for re reducing the incentive programs will be, and more support the dollar will receive. This week, we should uh, pay attention to, uh, to the Reserve Bank of Australia meeting minutes, uh, which may shed light uh, on the possibility of a rate cut, which, by the way, we do not expect uh, this year. On Tuesday, the March data on consumer prices of uh, Eurozone, the UK and the USA will also be published. On April uh, uh, 17, we are waiting for the minutes of the meeting of the Bank of England. Uh, on the same day, uh, the meeting of the Bank of Canada will take place. And on Friday, inflation report in Canada will be published. Market sentiment indicators show that the Australian dollar is uh, the only currency amongst the six measures that holds net long position against the US dollar. However, according to the Commodity Futures Trading Commission data from April uh, 12, futures market participants have significantly reduced uh, short positions on the euro, which gave uh, the leadership of net short position size to the Japanese yen. Uh, so, a weekly market overview uh, by ISC Markets was with you. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us every Monday. Goodbye.